Hi, my name is Nicole. Welcome to my channel, Travel to Money. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about Denia, Spain. I'll show you the sights, we'll tour the famous castle, we'll have a look at the food scene, the marina, and more. If you are new here, I have created this channel to help you learn about how to travel, adventure, and have fun on the road to financial independence. I have traveled the world, I own a couple of houses in Spain, and I'm on a creative journey to financial independence. I believe the road to financial freedom can and should be fun. I hope you'll subscribe and join me on this journey no matter where you were starting from. I've been to Denia, Spain several times, but it's usually been for a specific purpose, like needing to go to the post office there, going for a Thai massage appointment, or visiting the hospital. Years ago, I went to a Denia beach with a friend of mine, and I don't know if we just went to the wrong one or what, but it was small and dirty. We didn't stay for long that time, but on my last trip to Spain, when I was there visiting the hospital, my friend and I saw the castle and decided that we would come back on another day where we could explore it and see what else Denia has to offer. Denia, a coastal city in Spain, has been a desired location for centuries, both for living and for tourists. Its strategic port and location on the Mediterranean Sea made it an attractive target for invaders, including the Greeks, Romans, Muslims, Christians, and French. The city was also the capital of the Muslim kingdom of Valencia and Ibiza for a time. Despite its turbulent history, Denia has also enjoyed periods of peace and prosperity. The city's long sandy beaches, mild climate, and attractive architecture have made it a popular tourist destination in recent years. Denia has also been home to a thriving fishing and agricultural industry for centuries. Today, Denia is a vibrant and cosmopolitan city with a rich history and culture. The city is home to a diverse population, including Spaniards, Catalans, Moroccans, and other nationalities. Denia is a city with something to offer everyone, whether you're interested in history, culture, food, or simply relaxing on the beach. Now, for me, Denia is not a place I would choose to live, but only because of the high amount of tourism. That being said, on this trip, I found myself falling in love with this city and think for sure that it will be a place I visit regularly, especially since it is only a 25 minute drive from my house in Pago. You may often hear me talk about Pago, which has about 10,000 people year round. Denia, however, has around 40,000 residents, but that amount can easily double with tourists during the summer months. That's the main reason why I personally wouldn't want to live there. I'm not a huge fan of being around tourists all the time, but if you don't mind it or maybe even prefer it, I think you may really love Denia. Let me start by showing you some of the streets of Denia. We did a bit of aimless walking, one of my favorite things to do in a new city. As we were walking, we happened upon La Magazino's street food market. We first walked down the street during a weekday when not many of the places were open due to it being siesta time, but when we came back a second time for dinner, it was lively and full of happy owners and customers. We tried the Thai food, which was top notch. There are so many restaurants and eateries to choose from. There are places for dessert and wine, as well as an art gallery. Going back to siesta for a second, if you are not familiar, siesta or nap time is regularly practiced in Spain. From 2 to 4 p.m., it is common for many shops and restaurants to be closed, and there can even be local noise restrictions during that time. Spaniards live a really balanced life, and it's something I've come to love about living in Spain. Another time, my friend and I decided to go find a place to work for a while near the Dinia Marina. We stopped by Cafe No. 7, where I enjoyed a coffee and a great conversation with the owner. Occasionally on my travels, I'll meet a person who is extraordinarily excited about the United States, and this guy was one of them. He is from Germany and has a tattoo on his arm that says, God bless the USA. He and his family are really into NASCAR and are fans of the Oakland Raiders American football team. I can't say that I relate specifically to those things he mentioned, but it was a lot of fun to listen to him talk about his trips to the US. He is a great owner and it was really cool to watch him engage and talk to all of his customers. Now I'd love to show you the castle of Denia. If you walk this direction, once you see this tunnel, you will take a sharp right into the neighborhood following the signs for the castle. The castle of Denia is a medieval castle located right in the center of the city of Denia. It is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city and offers stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea. The castle was built in the 10th century by the Moors, who ruled the area at the time. It was later conquered by the Christians in the 13th century and has been 
been used for a variety of purposes over the years, including a prison, a military barracks, and a royal palace. The castle is divided into three main areas, the lower castle, the middle castle, and the upper castle. The lower castle is the oldest part and is where the original Moorish fortifications were located. The middle castle was built in the 13th century by the Christians, and it is where the royal palace was located. The upper castle was built in the 15th century, and it is where the castle's chapel is located. The castle was heavily damaged during the Spanish Civil War, but it has since been restored. The Dinia Castle is open to the public from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., is 6 euro for adults and 4 euro for children. Visitors can explore the castle's interior, which includes a number of rooms and halls, as well as the castle's exterior walls and towers. When you visit, it is a great place to take a walk or enjoy a picnic. Personally, if I were to visit again, I would take a backpack with water and picnic supplies and I'd spend two to three hours exploring the grounds, enjoying a stop for a picnic with a view. It is quite large with a lot of stairs, so be sure to wear comfortable shoes. At the top, there is also a restroom and a small shop where you can get an ice cream or a coffee. Be warned that you can smell the bathrooms once you enter that area, so I would suggest using a restroom before your trip if possible. After exploring the castle, when you exit, you can also walk through this underground tunnel. Once we exited the other side of the tunnel, there are a couple of really cute streets lined with restaurants that will give you a variety of types of cuisine to choose from. We stopped for a glass of sangria and a host of wonderful small bite options on the corner just outside of the tunnel. It is self-serve and you can simply pick up a plate, pick out the foods you would like to try and find a seat where the server will stop by for your drink order. There were some really creative dishes for sure. If you are already visiting Valencia or Alicante, Dinia is right in the middle along the coast and would be a cool city to visit for a day trip or even for a long weekend. To get there, it would be best if you have a rental car, but from Valencia you can take a train to Gandia and then a bus from Gandia to Dinia. If you're traveling from Alicante, there does appear to be a tram, but it takes three hours, which seems really long considering it's only an hour drive. If you are anywhere near the area and need medical attention, there is an awesome private hospital where I visited on this last trip and had my MRI done. Because it is a tourist area, you will find that a lot of services are offered in English. If you're visiting for more than a day, you can find fabulous hiking just outside of the city and overlooking the sea. There are all levels of hiking available, plenty for the beginner and also some for the more serious hikers. There are some cool cave spots along the seafront that have natural pools that you can swim in. This entire area of Spain is a hot spot for cyclists and you will find plenty of cycling around Dinia as well. One of the things that I love about Spain are all of the outdoor activities available. It is so beautiful for such a large part of the year that you really don't have much reason to stay indoors. No wonder the Spanish are so full of spirit. Well, I really hope you'll give Dinia a chance to wow you with its charm. It is definitely worth a visit. If you've been to Dinia and you know other sites that should be seen, be sure to leave a comment. Do me a huge favor, like this video, and subscribe to join me every day where travel and adventure build financial freedom. I can't wait to see where your dreams will take you.